So they look more fields? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can? Yeah, for a long time. Come on, you lost that. No. Go through the... No, it's okay if, you, if, if it's down, that it's down, you're okay. Just... Uh, the cube is much lower than the, the new cube. We know that it's not going to be like any quad that exists right now. Like you guys are familiarizing yourself with the quad. Is yeah. there any differences between this one and your one at home? Well, the, I asked the referee, there was lots yeah. of updates, as I saw. Yeah. Uh, part of the cart is uh, the bow is a bit lower or the bit a bit higher, mm. so it's much harder to tag. Uh, for us, it's, I think it's a good uh, it's a good update. So okay. we should yeah. be ready. You guys feeling good? Yeah, feeling great. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I feel like this is one of the coolest venues so far, if not the coolest. I think it's the coolest one. Yeah. Visibly, it's cooler. But like, it doesn't have the clout that the eSports arena yeah, has. I know, I was yeah, gonna say. This is an eSports arena. Is, is it? It is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this, is right there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the GOAT. Nice to meet you. How's it been having your own quad now? Feel good? Another feeling, man. Yeah, another feeling. <laughs> yeah, another feeling. Yeah, <laughs> like another feeling. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's ready to win the group. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to win it all. <laughs> How about you guys? <laughs> yeah, it's good. How do you feel about Apex? Yeah, it's good. Well, I'm not afraid. This seems a lot higher. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. This is a Can you stay there? I want to test the gate to see if it's a thing. Yeah. Can you stand on the border? Yeah. Okay. What about up yeah. here for Ludi? Someone else will have to test that. I can I can test the Ludi. Uh, you can't turn. <coughs> Too good? Yeah. Did you send it? That was a big dive. Yeah. Show me so that. So it's the right? spear. So instead of like going to there, you're Yeah, going you're reaching out a bit further. Yeah. Think of just penguin sliding in the back door. Yeah. That's what I do every time I come out of this. And I see they're close. Oh, just Because everybody goes from like, oh, I can get them right here, and then like, don't worry about the tag here. Just like, full send as far as you can. Yeah. And then look for the foot as it lands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nice, buddy. Center. You ever heard of 
LeBron James? Good session? Great session. Yeah, it felt good getting on the quad here, understanding the new measurements um, since we haven't been able to train on that. So, it felt good. Everybody's feeling strong. We're uninjured and we're, uh, we're feeling good. Feeling good going into Friday. What differences did you find then between your quad and this quad then? The distance on the back there by the tilted cube is a little bit different. It's a little bit more of a launch to go for the, uh, the gate vault. And then right underneath the mountain, that gap to kind of shoot QM under is much bigger. So you really accelerate to it, which is really cool. There's a couple other small pieces, but for the most part, it's same quad. So now we just gotta execute the same way we usually do. Pretty good. So over the years, how's the training train? How has the training changed? Oh. Me <laughs> <laughs> so how has the training changed over the years? If you come into team practice, like what are you doing on the quad? So before, people would use anchor points. So they would hold onto the quad and they would keep their fingertips would be the main concern whereas now the main concern is the fact that people don't even think about being an obstacle they can just slip through every single thing on the quad now so when obviously we were doing it back in like UK's as well none of the British athletes would have had time to train on a quad so to us every single bit of equipment is a blockade or an obstacle that you cannot pass through yeah. and it wouldn't have been a, a normal thing like the only people would have been what we would consider sketchy who would just dive through towards a metal bar now because people can train that and actually it becomes like second nature it's not sketchy anymore it's it's incredible yeah it's like the familiarity of it all so like because all these teams have access to quad they can map out every single part of the quad that they use like we we had initial techniques like you know tailing and cat and mousing and like trying to bait people and anchoring as Kieran was saying yeah. and now you're working with new things like sword fishing through objects and you've got threading and you've got all sorts Everyone's of new things got different names for things like, it's crazy yeah but like they, they will train it and train it, and train it until they are literally the perfect muscle memory like minimum like they'll get the mm -hmm. centimeters and the inches just right to pass through an object like for instance the ridge over here I saw some athletes coming up they were conging the ridge completely just not Kong Brim, but going and landing within the ridge. I think they call that spidering now. Absolutely like that. insane. Like, yeah. we, we, no one would ever do that unless they had loads of time to train and literally perfect that move. And uh, that's that's where it's going. It's growing and growing. And you've also got this like whole difference in technique between Americans and Europeans. So like the Americans, when they started doing chase tag, was a lot more speed, run and gun. And the Americans had a bit more of that like technical strategic approach. And that's now being combined as they've started training with each other. So you've now got a situation where you've got hybrid tactic and, and technique coming out of here, which is just building and building. And now you've got teams from Japan coming in and no one's seen what their strategy is as well. Mm. You have all this like collaborative approach from around the world. And this competition in particular is gonna be the most insane because of that one fundamental. Mm. Another interesting thing that we noticed this time around is that it's getting very political with measurements. So like people would come out and they'll go, this is completely different to our quad, or this is strange, this, is, this bar's not in the right place, this one's at a different angle. I think we had one earlier, literally here at the front line, this bar that goes up, people saying that they're used to it being straight and even just the tiniest bit out because they'll use it for a foot pivot so they can go somewhere now it just completely offsets their strategic plan that they've got used to so now they've got to completely reassess or even take that out of their plan but like even here as well at the tilted cube they're saying that the bar in their quad is actually lower so it means they can pass through this second gap here but now because the bar's higher they can't pass through that second gap but the one that they underneath they can just fly through mm. same so, with the barriers over here i heard them saying that this yeah, is a steeper barrier next to the sisters yeah so when it comes to like tacking to come up over and obviously we didn't have a barrier when we first started chase tag it was just the floor <laughs> dusty floor so we had we don't know what that's like yeah. but like yeah that attention to detail and that like um what's it called like the uniform quad mm. as we progress in the sport definitely gonna make a huge difference it's actually got to the point now where like athletes have got tape measures to measure like bar distances because they have to be so accurate with it and you can imagine if you're diving head first into a gap you want to know exactly what's going on so i feel like an old man in the sport we're gonna now, have to right? make a dictionary at this rate we've got <sighs> pterodactyl somewhere around here we've got swordfish <laughs> spider monkey who comes up with this it's absolutely bollocks if you ask me yeah what happened to good old fashioned chase tag yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, <wow. laughs> I'm Oleg. X. Oleg. Oleg? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Hi. 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 Good to see you. He's the guy who's in, uh, who invaded you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he also invaded me. Good to see you. Same as this guy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a bit. What do you think is, has been like the most evolution since 
let's say Pan Ams. Yeah, that's interesting, yeah, Pan Ams. Is, like, some things that I've heard is basically Tilted is getting pretty solved. It's opening up more ideas around Lazy Boy. Notoriously, uh, Lazy Boy's been the worst, and now people are saying, at least I've heard a few people say, they like to play around Lazy Boy more than yeah. Tilted. Lazy Boy used to be the worst, and now we actually, a lot of people say Bay is like the death zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bay is probably the lowest EQ out of all the spots. But between Lazy and Cube, I think it's player dependent. That's fair. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, some people attack the Cube really well, and uh, and then it has that feeling like don't even go to the Cube if you can. Yeah. But then you know some people are so good at piss corner like. <laughs> yeah, can I, you use I that piss corner. Cube people studied a lot more uh -huh. we're lazy a lot of people are just like oh yeah lazy suck right but like there's a little more nuance to it than mm, yeah. it seems with like especially with like your entry into it yeah. like once once you're in it or if you like approach it correctly it's still really strong as the chaser but like i feel like so many people approach it wrong and then they just get destroyed. That's a really astute observation is that because people maybe underestimate, they're just like, yeah. oh, it sucks to be there. Yeah. And they don't practice as much. I think that's, a, that's kind of my observation as well. Yeah. I think every spot I've seen innovations since Pan Ams. And it's not just like some new move that people do. It's like uh, they took like a trap continuum mm -hmm. or a series of continuums and they polished them up with all these little tiny, there's a conversation between the chaser and the invader at all times. Yeah. And they just have added so many little details that like will bump their hips just an inch to the right, put them just on their heels, and then they read how they react to that, and then that gives them two options on their continuum. Yep. And it's so fast that that's where I think the innovations are. Okay. Is that the game like is that. just faster, yeah. the continuums are just fleshed out, people are better at them, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm excited, yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> Hopefully that looks good. That looks nice. <laughs> Everything's different. Bar's like it's in line with the mountain, right? So I don't I don't I suppose maybe I feel like this is further. Right. Those are the scariest ones. <laughs> Double sleep. Double face. On quoi là? Ça part en quoi là? Pio gang. <laughs> This place is fucking cool. Yeah. 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 It looks wicked. Wow! It's a quad. Look. How's it going, man? Yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, cool. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Hey man, how are you? It's a massive upgrade. Like, it's amazing. You walk in, it's like, colors everywhere. A bit bigger than your core, yeah. right? A bit bigger. <laughs> it's amazing, man. Uh, there's lots, lots of seats in here. And the quad looks good. I haven't seen a, a quad looking this good for a while, so uh, yeah. I'm very eager to get on it. <laughs> That's that's much lower, right? Yeah, way lower. Oh, so quick. 
It's so grippy. Fox sliding. Grippy? Yeah, it's really grippy. Fox sliding. Let's just go in. But this is giant. This? It feels so big. Look how big that is. Um, this has come here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's come over a bit. Yeah. Okay. What are you so how do you train with Niam then? Uh, well he's a great person to help us with dives. So we, we set him up somewhere and then we just... Look, I'll show you. So if kids dive into him. Yeah, yeah so if we have Na uh, First of all, he's a good phone holder. Yeah. And then if, if you have Naeem here. From somewhere. And you go and you have... Like, you have you reach, reach for the crotch. Yeah, uh, if you can. Is that why you got the one of him wearing shorts and not trackies? Exactly, so you can like... What story? What do you mean? No! No! Are you good? No! Are you good? Oh, I got you! What the one side? What the one side? Oh, you're done. Fine, fine. How's it? What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm Hi, man. I'm Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're friendly now, but we're gonna kick their ass. Go get some food. Yeah, and then throw up on the quad. Yeah, then throw up on the quad. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, love us. Slip hazard. See ya. Oh, the show getting beat. You're not even gonna play any of the top players on that team. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna evade their top players. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, saying that. I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I take it back. I take it back. Please delete that footage. Please. <laughs> So what do you think? Over there now. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. epic. Every chase tag we just like level up. Damn. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot with like the starter plate just like facing everyone. So high. Looks like a yeah. Can you look at the audience. <laughs> Not as slightly as I'm used to. These are, uh, it's, it's, it's good to get tested. Cause like, different grip yeah. than what I'm used to. We built the quad in January. But man, it's, yeah, there's small differences. It's gonna make a huge change to it. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs>